Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in today. Behind me is a 2020 Cimarron Steerwalt that we're going to walk you through today. This is a great trailer for a family that's maybe just getting started, a family that's maybe just on their way getting out, or if you just have maybe one to two head that you're hauling to some shows. Uh, it's a 24 footer. So it's a very easy to get around trailer. It's not the big, big 28 and 30 foot plus trailers that we are the most common sellers today. Um, but this is a very well equipped trailer. Again, a really nice, nice starting trailer here for you. So like I mentioned, it's 24 foot on the floor. This trailer is eight foot wide and it's six four tall. So underneath this trailer, on this one we just did the single leg hand crank jack and stored over on the driver's side is actually your hand crank and this guy also doubles as a lug wrench for you. So if you do need to change a tire, you have that already on the trailer. So on a 24 footer, we keep it pretty basic. We just do a, a four foot front tack room on this trailer, and then we do 20 foot in the stall area. But up here in the front, we put some nice big hooks on the wall for storage. You've got a boot box for kind of some smaller miscellaneous items. And over here to the right, up in the gooseneck, you'll notice a tray for storage. And I'll show you what that's for. That's actually for your plexiglass. And I'll show you here in a minute how we take those out. But that's a great place to store them so they're not bouncing around. You've got a clothes rod up off the roof. So as you're going to some shows, some jackpots, you're showing off the trailer. It's a good place to keep some items nice and clean. A uh, kid can jump in there change to get ready for the show, anything like that. So on the side here, we've got a fold down ramp. So a great place to load, unload your animals. Across from it is also your escape door on this trailer. But like I mentioned, this is 20 foot on the floor back here in the stall area. Um, and what we did was, is we went in and added you a traveling gate. And so you'll see the track up here off the roof. Cimarron's traveling gate is so easy to use because it comes off the roof. We're not having to deal with rails on the side. You have to really keep those gates extremely balanced. You get them off a little bit and they get hung up and they're kind of hard to move especially over here on the right hand side those lower rails a lot of times will get manure in them so you have to clean those out with this system off the roof this is a very easy to use um, traveling gate and i'll show you how how that works on this one here we put the slider with no threshold so cattle don't have to step over anything down here loading unloading Basically, if you just kind of stand in the middle here, I'm not even touching the gate and it's just floating back. We are on a little bit of a slant back here where the trailer's parked. So it's just naturally wanting to roll towards me. But again, just very easy to use. Um, the nice thing is, is on all your side posts, they're a foot apart, so you can set that gate every foot on this trailer. So again, you can manipulate uh, stall sizes all you want. The other cool thing is, is with this rail, we ran it towards the back and we, we stopped about, I believe is about six feet off the back on this trailer here. 
but if you ever wanted to add a second traveling gate to this trailer you can it's very simple to do you just remove the back bolts the gate slides in and then you can use two gates and create three different stalls in different sizes the other nice thing is, is this guy here can actually slide clear up here to the front and lock in ahead of this side ramp and then you can have one big open stall here but those traveling gates are fantastic from the standpoint if you're hauling um, you know multiple multiple heifers multiple steers multiple bulls maybe you got a cow calf pair and you're hauling a bull you want to keep them separated or keep that pair separated from the heifers giving them their own stall space you can do that with those traveling gates and that's what's so fantastic about them um, on a lot of our bigger trailers we've strictly gone to just putting two traveling gates in there because that's what everybody wants. Everybody wants that flexibility um, because we know it from year to year, uh, different shows, you know, what you're hauling is gonna change. In here we put a low and high tie rail. This goes the whole length of the trailer. And then it is also on the escape door too. So you've got a lot of places here to tie cattle up. We've got roof vents in here for you. We've got six of them. So you can manip manipulate airflow through this trailer any way you want. If you're traveling in the, in the winter time and their body heat starts warming up and starts getting warm in here, you can actually push these back. So we're not actually grabbing air going down the road, but it'll release that hot air because that hot air off of their body heat is gonna rise up. And that way it just gets out of the trailer and just keeps them nice and cool in transit. But also, the mo more importantly, is on every Cimarron, you get the standard insulated roof. So again, on every model, that's what is standard on the roof. So it's a half inch thick honeycomb design. It takes substantial hail, but more importantly, it keeps the stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. So uh, a lot of times out here on the lot, you'll get 95 plus on this asphalt all day. You can walk out about 4 or 5 p.m. where it's at the peak heat of the day and it's been hot all day. You can actually reach up and touch these roofs. They might be a little warm, but you can put your hand in there and hold it. On aluminum sheeted roof, you walk up to it and you try to hold your hand there, it's gonna burn you. I mean, it gets hot. And that's what we're doing with these animals. I mean, that's a, that is a great benefit. We want them to be cool. We want them to be comfortable going to the show. But again, that's standard on every single Cimarron. As we get to the exterior of this trailer, we've got some low and high tie rails for tying out. So if you are at a show, um, summer nationals, different state fairs that they allow you to just tie out at the actual trailer itself, you've got these tie rails on both sides of this trailer. So you can use this and, and keep some shade with the cattle, but then have the ability to tie them high and low. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is that on this trailer here, so this one here is a mill finish. This is the, the Steerwalt Pro Series. So you get the mill finish rather than the polish with the standard on the Signature Series. But I've got some cutouts here of what that actual sidewall looks like. This one here is the mill finish. And for reference, here's the polish. It's a little dirty, but um, this is a piece that Cimarron sent us just kind of showing how these are put together. And I'll turn it to the side here so you can see it. But on each of these pieces, this is a triple hollow nine inch side slap. So that hollow core gives this, this slat so much strength to this trailer. I mean, Cimarron starts out with these extruded pieces that are extremely strong to begin with. But then, as they start putting the trailers together, they add and gain even more strength. And the other cool thing about this side slat is on the backside inside the trailer, this is completely smooth. So especially when you get to your side posts on a lot of other manufacturers, you know, these kind of 
extrusions here in the, the trailer, you'll have this piece on the inside and then your post runs up against it. Well, it's a good place behind that post for a lot of manure and dirt to get behind and you're cleaning it out and boy, it just takes so much longer because you're spraying and trying to get rid of that stuff. But because of this smooth side that Cimarron's done on the inside, your post is flush to this whole thing. So it's really easy to clean up as well. But that's where it gains so much strength. Again, is, is they start off with really strong extruded pieces, but then when they start putting it together, um, it gains a lot of strength. A lot of times we use the example of Legos. You know, as you start putting Legos together and really stacking them in and locking them together, they gain more and more strength as you're building something. So that's no different than the side extrusions, um, their bottom rails, the flooring on all these Cimarron's. I mentioned up front that uh, plexiglass tray for storage. This trailer has three air gaps with plexiglass, two up high, one down low. I always kind of cheat and just take a pocket knife and just get one ahead of the other. And this piece will slide out. Um, as you start getting pieces out, then what you can do is take, I like masking tape because it doesn't leave a real sticky residue and a black Sharpie. And I would write lower side, you know, lower passenger side and I would tape all these together. That way when you go to put them in there and store them, they're together, but when, more importantly, when you come to take them out and put them back in this trailer, you know where each of these pieces goes. So then you're not trying to fight, you know, okay, you know, it's a puzzle, mix and matching. You know exactly where all those pieces go. So it's really easy to put those back in there. This trailer is equipped with two 7,000 pound Dexter axles. These are nitrogen filled tires. That's what your green tab indicates. That nitrogen filled makes it to where our PSI levels don't fluctuate drastically causing blowouts. You also get one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires from the vendor that Cimarron uses. So if you catch a nail and it can't be patched, you take some pictures of the codes, you send it in within a couple days, you'll have a new tire. You also get two years of roadside assistance, which is fantastic. I mean, as you're traveling on busy highways, having that in your back pocket is also extremely nice. We opted for the black aluminum wheels on this trailer, just something a little bit different. As we get to the back of the trailer, it's a gate, swing gate with a slider in it. Here at the back, we've got two load lights. And then as you can see in the interior, those Optibrite lights. So with these load lights at the back and then in the staller, you got a lot of lighting on this trailer. Um, we know a lot of times you're getting to shows or getting home late at night. So it's, it really lights this trailer up. You're almost doing it in the daylight. You also have lights on each side of the trailer. So again, if you're tying out, you've got the ability to feed cattle early in the morning, late at night type of a scenario and have some light coverage out there. Like I mentioned, the tie rails high and low, they're on both sides of the trailer. Shut that escape door, because this is a uh, this is a charcoal metallic that Cimarron's recently come out with. Just a different option rather than just the, the plain black. There's also a silver metallic, white is standard, but a lot of these trailers will mix up. If you get this on, on, the, dry, on the, the side where the sun's hitting it, you know, at the right angle, you'll see the metallic flakes in that color. Again, it's a new color that Cimarron's come out with that we've been doing on some trailers and people really, really like it. So reference for you on this trailer is stock number 5N, 200, 049. It is a 2020 Cimarron Steerwalt Pro Series. Again, 24 foot, four foot tack, 20 foot installer with traveling gate, eight foot wide, six four tall. Um, this is a great, great trailer. Again, for maybe a family starting out, 
Um, maybe you just have one, one kid left showing or hey, you're just only hauling about one to two head. With that traveling gate in there with that tack room, this is a really well equipped trailer for you. Uh, easy to get around, but again, very, very well equipped. So we appreciate you tuning in. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. If you have any questions on this trailer or any of the other trailers that we have, we've got a lot of different setups. We have some with no tack rooms on them. We have some with air ride suspension. We've got bigger trailers. So give us a call. We can also custom build you something. Anybody in our sales team can help you out. Our phone number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.